Well, hello. Good morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are. Currently it's evening time for me. Thank you for joining me, Bushcraft Dave, out on a short walk. Um, today I'm up on the top of Birkin Edge. I've never come up to this bit before, and there's a couple of reasons I'm out. Um, first of all, it's cold. And I've got an overnight camp I'm going to do tomorrow, which I'll put out probably next week. Um, so I'm kind of just acclimatising myself a little bit to the cold, making sure the equipment I've got is suitable to keep me warm. But also, this walk takes in a couple of really interesting features, a couple of monuments um, that are up on the top of Birkenedge. So thank you for joining me out in the Peak District doing another walk from the Collins Short Walks Guide to the Peak District and this is walk number hang on walk number seven it's another walk that'll take two hours I've come out quite early evening um, the sun will set in around about an hour so possibly for the second half of this walk I could be doing it in the dark. I don't know whether you can see behind me, the sun is going down. So the clock is kind of against me, but I know I've already lost out to the sunlight. So I'm just going to enjoy the stroll, take in these monuments, let you know a little bit more about them. And yeah, we'll just have a little chat as we, we walk along. And hopefully, even though it is early evening and the sun's going down, we'll get some nice shots as we're going along. So thank you for joining me. And let's see where this journey takes us to next. So here we've got Nelson's Monument and the nearby three rocks which are shaped like the bow of a man of war. They're named Victory, Defiance and Sovereign, uh, which was the ships at the Battle of Trafalgar. And this monument is for Nelson. It's a nice little plaque.
Well, that's the first time I've been past cows in absolutely ages. A lot of the walks that I did last year, 2021, when I was doing the early walks in the Peak District, so the stuff that was generally in the White Peak, I would be going past sheep and cows and stuff all the time. And I'll be honest, I'm always a bit wary of them. And, and I guess you should always be. Um, but that's the first time I've been past some for ages. And they were also the big Highland cattle with the big horns. And I was quite proud of myself. I didn't particularly get nervous. I have watched a couple of things on YouTube recently that has told me about, a bit about why they come to you and stuff. So, because they're just inquisitive. Um, I think that helped me stay calm, but yeah, nice to see them. And the sun's setting. And the sun's setting beautifully over there. What's this thing? I'm presuming this is another edge keen to the wind. I'm presuming that this is more of the monuments and things that have been built around Birken Edge to commemorate the Battle of Trafalgar. So we've already seen Nelson's monument. Let's continue this journey and find out who are the other monuments for. So here we are, we've got Wellington's Monument. And this stone cross was erected in 1866. I'm heading out now to something called so it's just off the path a little bit. I'm gonna to have to go back again in a second. But to this separate rock, just standing in the middle of the moorland. And this stone is called the Eagle Stone. And apparently, at one time, every young man from Baslow had to climb it before he could get married. So, when we get there, I'm gonna have a quick look, see how easy that would be. I mean, I'm already married. But you never know. <laughs> All right, let's have a closer look. Here it is, the Eagle Stone. I'm not exactly seeing the eagle part of it. Let me just zoom out. Let that fish eye do its job. Right. I mean, I guess if you knew what you were doing, you could probably get up on it. Right then, heading back yonder into the sunset, back to the car park where there is a pub. Hmm, there's a thought. I just got that lovely footage going through the gate 
and I went wrong because <laughs> um, I wasn't really paying attention. So before you get to that gate that I just got to, um, turn left and we're sort of following a bit of a trail down alongside this wall. Lesson learnt, pay attention. Sun has uh, pretty much well and truly gone behind me now. Time to concentrate. Hi everybody, just a very, very quick one. You can't really see anything now. I'll just quickly turn off my torch so you can see. So the camera is still pointing at me, but you can't. And I've just turned the camera around so you can see my view. So nothing. So yeah, just a quick one really. Please be safe. Make sure that you've got a map with you because right now I can't even see where I'm headed to. I'm simply following the um, the sat nav on my phone and on my watch using the Kamut app. Um, so I'm really glad I mapped it out, but I can't see anything without this torch. So please, 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 if you're heading out for a big long hike, make sure that you bring a head torch or any kind of torch really, because your phone torch is all right, but your phone battery could easily run out. Whereas this torch battery that I've got, I've got a, what have I got? I think it's one of the Petzl ones. I can't remember, but the battery on that should last for like 10 hours or more at least. So please, please, please bring a torch. Right then, thank you so much for joining me. It's uh, it's very dark, as it was before. But thank you so much for joining me on this very, very different kind of walk. Lots of different stuff. We had um, sunsets, monuments, and backpacking and hiking in the dark. Um, yeah, a bit of a difference. But I'm only about half a mile away from civilization now. Um, I can see a load of cars and um, stuff like that. So. And I, and I know from my sat nav I'm in the right direction anyway, but it's been a been a bit of a cork, a been a bit of an explore. Um, I'm sure that if I was to do this walk in the summer, I'd probably get a completely different perspective and outlook of what I've seen from the walk. So I might have seen um, Chatsworth House. I could kind of vaguely see where it was, but it wasn't clear in the slightest. Um, and also I might have had some more beautiful scenery to have a look at on my descent back down to the car, but. I've, I've absolutely loved it. Um, the only slightly creepy thing I've, about it is obviously with the head torch on, your lamp does catch the um, wildlife. So there was one point I was walking along and I just saw loads of eyes staring at me in the distance. It was just a whole load of sheep. Um, but yeah, thank you for joining me. Walk number seven from the Peak District, Rambler's Guide, the short walks in the Peak District. Um, Birkenedge, absolutely fantastic. Next time out, it's my overnight camp, so I'm going to be doing a walk um, at Ilham Hall, followed by an overnight camp where I'm going to get my tranger out and do a good long cook. So I'm really looking forward to that. I've not been out cooking for absolutely ages, so one to look out for. Tune in next week. Make sure you've liked and subscribed. Click, click that bell notification so you find out when that camping video goes up. It might be a bit of a long one, um, but that's sometimes a good thing, isn't it? So thank you for joining me. Have a lovely one, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.